Welcome back to my channel. It looks like Nvidia is gearing up for a massive release of the RTX 5090, with reviews rumored to drop this Thursday. Meanwhile, AMD is trying to steal the spotlight with juicy RX 9070 rumors, and Intel's already made waves with their ARC B570 launch, which has gotten some pretty solid reviews, although with a few asterisks. So the new year's off to a wild start. But hey, it's 2025. We've learned not to ask how things could get worse. Grab your favorite drink, get comfy, and repeat after me. Yikes. Oh, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and lets me keep bringing you more videos like this one. Now, as we wait in this weird gap between GPU announcements and actual launches, we've got a ton of fresh details about NVIDIA's RTX 50 series, specifically the RTX 5090 and RTX 5080. According to NVIDIA, these cards are set to go on sale January 30th. So let's break down what's confirmed versus what's just a rumor. First, here's what NVIDIA's officially shared. The RTX 50 series lineup includes four cards, and we've got a January 30th sale date for the 50 v 80 and 5090. In a recent Gamers Nexus interview, NVIDIA's thermal engineer Malcolm Gutenberg revealed that the 5090 cooler is a true two-slot design. Pretty impressive for a 575 watt GPU. But of course, we'll have to see how it performs in real world tests. Now let's dive into the rumors. NVIDIA's benchmarks, they're a little sketchy. The graphs are missing proper labels and, and it's hard to tell the actual value of the comparisons. Claims that the RTX 5070 matches or even beats the 4090, that relies heavily on multi-frame generation, which is a DLSS 4 exclusive feature for the 50 series. But here's the catch. These generated frames don't include new data from the game engine, so the comparison is a bit misleading. Naturally, this has sparked a fake frame scandal, which overshadows the legit benefits of frame generation in certain scenarios. That said, early performance tests in Resident Evil 4 and Horizon Forbidden West show a 20-25% boost for the 5090 over the 4090. According to Computerbase.da, the 5090's Gen on Gen performance improvement is about 33%, while the 5070 and 5070 Ti are around 20%, and the 5080 trail 10%. As for embargo dates, here's what's floating around. January 23rd for 5090 Founders Edition reviews, January 24th for partner cards, and RTX 5080 coverage starting January 29th. The 5070 and 5070 Ti are expected sometime in February, but those dates are still TBD. Geekbench leak suggests the 5090 outperforms the 4090 by 26 to 37% in Vulcan and 7 to 15% in OpenCL. Pricing, it's all over the place. Rumors show partner cards like $1,400 for the 5080 and $2,800 for the 5090, but early pricing leaks are usually unreliable. The bigger question, Will stockles meet demand, or are scalpers going to have a field day come January 30th? On the AMD side, there's a lot of chatter about the Radeon RX 9070 and 9070 XT. While AMD didn't officially announce these at CES, reviewers have hinted at enough details to fuel speculation. AMD claims previous performance leaks were way off and with confirmed 16GB VRAM, 33% more than the RTX 5070, AMD could undercut NVIDIA with pricing in the 400-500 range. If true, that's huge. Intel's also in the mix, launching the ARC B570 for just $220. With 10GB VRAM, it's a great pick for budget gamers. But heads up, if you're running a lower-end CPU, performance gains might not be as noticeable. And while the bigger sibling, the B580, is still hard to find, the B570 delivers solid value right now. Speaking of big wins, Chinese overclocker Wix just set a new record, pushing Intel's 14900KF to a whopping 9.112 GHz using liquid nitrogen cooling. That's right, liquid nitrogen. It's an impressive feat and a testament to the overclocking potential of Intel's Raptor Lake CPUs. In other news, Linus Sebastian recently showed up on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, demoing some cool CES gadgets like Lenovo's rollable OLED laptop and X-Real wearable glasses. The segment went well, aside from a hilariously awkward moment where Linus tried to explain what a waifu is. Let's just say Jimmy was very confused. Finally, on a more serious note, TikTok might be facing a US ban over security concerns unless it finds a US-based buyer. 
This has led users to explore alternatives like Xiaohongshu, aka Little Red Book, which ironically has even murkier government ties. And that's all for this week's tech news. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Oh, and what's in the box? You guessed it. It's a 5090. See you next time.